Neville Goddard once said, If you would assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled more frequently, you would be master of your fate, famously known for his belief in the power of assumption and imagination. This quote aptly sums up most of his life's work. More than likely you've heard of concepts like the law of assumption and the power of manifestation. But if you're here, chances are you still have some questions. Have you ever pondered the existence of a force so potent that it could transform your desire into reality? Is the law of assumption a profound truth, or is it merely a whimsical notion? Today, let's embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries of this compelling concept. This law challenges us to question our preconceived notions about manifestation and invites us to explore the boundless power that lies within our minds. The big question is the law of assumption, a genuine force that shapes our reality. Or is it just wishful thinking? We're about to find out as we delve into this exploration. We'll discuss the enigma of the law of assumption, and all it entails, make sure to keep watching. First, we start at the root of it all. In our quest to understand the law of assumption, we cannot navigate this concept without acknowledging the luminary figure who paved the way Neville Goddard. So who is Neville Goddard? Neville Goddard, born in Barbados in 1905, was not just a mystic, but a trailblazer in the realm of manifestation. His teachings rooted in mystical interpretations of biblical concepts resonated with seekers of truth around the world. Neville's journey led him to explore the transformative power of assumption and his wisdom continues. To echo through the corridors of time of Goddard's many principles, these stood out the most through the eras and have made important connections with our topic. Today, first, imagination creates reality. Neville fervently believed in the power of the imagination. He often stated, assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled, emphasizing that your imaginative capacity shapes your experiences, central to Neville's. Teachings were the concept of assumption. The idea that assuming the feeling of already having our desires fulfilled aligns us with the energy needed for manifestation. Ask yourself, what would it feel like if I already had that money, that job, that relationship, that dream vacation? How would I feel if I was truly a peace? Find that feeling and that reality. Imagine it, hold on to it, and act consciously in line with that reality. Assume that reality and watch as the rest falls right into place. Neville also encouraged living in the end result of our desires by mentally residing in the state of having already achieved our goals. We alter our consciousness and attract corresponding experiences. Consequently, you have to slowly learn to script your own reality. Neville advocated for the use of inner conversations and mental scripting by consciously directing our thoughts and inner dialogues. We script the story of our lives and influence our external reality as crazy as it might sound. He also believed in the power of revising past events through imagination. By reimagining and revising past experiences, we alter their impact on our present and future being, one of the most important of his teachings. Everything we have just discussed is still centered by the law of assumption as a kid. You first begin life seeing it through some very skewed but beautiful lens. You're full of wonder, curiosity, and wild imagination. Why is the sky blue? Why is the grass green? Do hobbits live on the mountains in the distance? Can I touch a unicorn? All of these, the rambling of a kid's unbridled imaginations, probably make up some of our first and last contacts with true magic and wonder, however, the older we got, the less we got to see and touch this magic soon. Santa became some ridiculous, whimsical character the color of the sky and grass no longer fascinated you. And the question why became farther than an afterthought. Somewhere along the line, we forgot how to reimagine the world in our own way. We forgot to assume that our lives could be exactly as we wanted it to, now that... You've gained some insight from Neville Goddard's wisdom. You now know, in essence, what his teaching sent Ed on. Let's dive into the very core of this exploration, the law of assumption. What is it exactly at its root? 
The law of assumption is the recognition that our assumptions, beliefs, and feelings mold our reality. Neville Goddard urged us to transcend the limits of wishful thinking and fully embody the assumption that our desires are not only possible but are already realized. Imagine planting a seed in fertile soil. The assumption is the soil nurturing the seedling of your desire until it blooms into your lived experience. It's about living from the end result, not merely wishing for it in simple words. It's a concept that says, you must assume the feeling or reality you desire. Somehow, some way, this reality will find its way to you. Now, this might sound a whole lot like wishful thinking, but walk with me and find out the difference. Wishful thinking often involves passive daydreaming and desiring without a clear in emotion or conscious engagement. It's like throwing a coin into a fountain and hoping for a miracle without actively participating in the creation process. On the other hand, the law of assumption is an intentional conscious act. It's about assuming a state of being and embodying the emotions associated with the desired outcome. It's not passive. It's an active engagement with the creative forces of the universe. Wishful thinking might leave you yearning for change, but the law of assumption empowers you to become the architect of your reality. It's not about waiting for your ship to come in. It's about setting sail and navigating the seas of your assumptions. As we explore further, you'll understand how the law of assumption transcends wishful thinking, providing a tangible path to manifesting the reality you desire. Now let's figure out how exactly to apply the law of assumption in your daily life. Sure, you know what the concept entails, but how can you turn these principles into tangible practices? We're getting there. Number one is to clarify your desires. Begin by clearly defining what you desire, whether it's a career goal, a relationship, or personal development specificity enhances the power of your assumptions. I would recommend cultivating the habit of writing these things down, whether it's in the form of a journal, a to-do list, mind map, or a vision board. There's something about putting pen to paper that helps solidify your goals. Number two is to craft affirmations. Create positive and present tense affirmations that reflect the fulfillment of your desires. For example, instead of saying, I will be successful, affirm, I am successful and fulfilled in my career. Number three is visualization techniques. Engage in regular visualization sessions. Close your eyes and vividly imagine scenes where your desires have already manifested. One of the biggest challenges people face with implementing these practices is properly visualizing their assumption. God had often stressed the effectiveness of experiencing visualizations from a first-person viewpoint when you visualize. See the world through your own eyes, immersing yourself in the details and emotions of the assumed reality instead of focusing on the process. See yourself living the life you desire, whether it's financial abundance, a fulfilling relationship, or career success. Visualize the end scene. Vividly engage your senses during visualization. Feel the textures, hear the sounds, and experience the emotions associated with your desired reality. Neville emphasized the importance of making your visualizations as sensory-rich as possible. Number four is first-person perspective. When visualizing, adopt a first-person perspective. See the world through your own eyes in the scenes. You imagine this personalizes the experience and makes it more immersive. Number five is feeling is the secret focus on the emotional component of your assumptions. Feel the emotions associated with the fulfillment of your desires the more genuine and intense. The emotions the more effective the assumption feeling is the vibrational language that communicates with the universe. Goddard emphasized that it's not just about thinking of your desire. It's about feeling as if your desire has already been fulfilled. This might be hard for many to grasp, not because it is difficult, but simply because it seems a little inadequate, underwhelming, if you will, if you desire. Financial abundance feel the joy and security that financial freedom brings. If you seek love, immerse yourself in the warmth and fulfillment of being loved. Your feelings are the magnetic pull that draws your assumptions into your lived reality.
Feeling is not merely a side effect of assumption. It's the secret ingredient that catalyzes the manifestation process. Number six is to create a mental script. Develop a mental script or story that narrates your life as you wish it to be. Picture each scene with clarity and script. The dialogue and events as if they are happening in the present moment. Number seven is to live from the end. Embrace the concept of living from the end. Act as if your desires have already been fulfilled. Make choices and decisions based on the assumption that your desired reality is your current reality. Number eight is consistency and repetition. Consistency is crucial. Repeat your affirmations. And engage in visualizations regularly consistent reinforcement strengthens the neural pathways associated with your assumptions. Consistent assumption is the heartbeat of the law of assumption. It's not a fleeting thought or a momentary belief. It's a sustained and unwavering commitment to the assumption that your desires are on their way to manifestation. God had emphasized that persistence is not about desperation or anxious waiting. It's about confidently and persistently assuming the feeling of the wish being fulfilled, even in the face of external circumstances that might suggest otherwise. Number nine is positive self-talk. Monitor your internal dialogue. Sometimes that little voice in your head could be getting in your way. Maybe it says you can't do certain things or be certain things. Maybe it says you're not good enough or worthy enough. Whatever the case may be, you must strive to replace negative or doubtful thoughts with positive affirmations that support your conscious assumptions. Positive self-talk reinforces your desired beliefs. Number 10 is detachment from the means. Let go of attachment to specific ways or means through which your desires will manifest. Trust the universe to bring about the fulfillment of your assumptions in ways that may surpass your current understanding. God had emphasized the importance of detaching from the how of manifestation. This principle involves trusting that the universe will orchestrate the means to fulfill your assumptions often in ways beyond your immediate understanding. It's important to note that this detachment is not indifference, but a profound Trust in the inherent intelligence of the universe. It allows for the unfolding of your assumptions in ways that might surpass your initial expectations. Number 11 is to reflect and revive regularly. Reflect on your assumptions. If you notice any conflicting thoughts or beliefs, revise them to align with your desired reality. Revision is a powerful tool for shaping your assumptions. God had introduced the concept of revising assumptions as a powerful tool in the law of assumption. If your current assumptions do not align with your desires, you have the creative ability to revise and redirect your mental focus. Revision involves looking back at past assumptions, events, or experiences and altering them in your mind's eye by revising how you perceive the past. You reshape its impact on your present and future. Remember, the goal is always to create the best life possible for you. And finally, number 12 is to express gratitude. Cultivate gratitude for the assumed manifestations as if they have already occurred. Gratitude aligns your energy with a positive frequency, reinforcing the power of your assumptions. Imagine all of this as scripting the story of your life rather than letting the plot unfold. Haphazardly, you become the author. Consciously directing the narrative, it requires a heightened awareness and a commitment to engage with your desires on a conscious level. Goddard emphasized that consciousness is the key player in the law of assumption. The more aware and intentional your assumptions, the more profound the impact on your reality, embarking on the journey of the law of assumption might be met with skepticism and challenges now that we've explored the foundational principles of the law of assumption and practical steps for implementation. Let's address a crucial aspect, overcoming doubts and challenges in the manifestation journey to deal with skepticism. You must first acknowledge common doubts. It's natural to harbor doubts about a principle as transformative as the law of assumption. Common doubts may include questioning the validity of assumptions, wondering about the practicality of manifestation, or skepticism about the role of emotions. How do you see past this? 
Well, first, you must recognize this concept as active engagement with the universe by assuming a desired reality, you're sending out powerful signals that influence the unfolding of events. You're letting the universe know that not only are you aware of the possibilities, but you are also ready. The law of assumption is also not a niche concept. It's a universal principle that transcends individual beliefs. Countless testimonials from various walks of life attest to its efficacy. People have witnessed transformative changes by consciously assuming the reality they wish to experience. Thus, the concept also leverages the power of emotional alignment. Emotions play a crucial role in the manifestation process. The law of assumption acknowledges that emotions are not just reactions, but powerful forces that shape our reality. By aligning your emotions with the assumed reality, you create a vibrational match that attracts your desires. Now we cannot overemphasize the role of consistency and patience in this journey that you're about to embark on. The law of assumption is not a quick fix. It's a journey consistent and persistent assumption is the key to unlocking the manifestation process. Doubts may arise, but persistence in assumption acts as a steady beacon, guiding one through challenges. More importantly, you must learn to set realistic expectations. Patience is the companion of persistence. Manifestation doesn't always adhere to our expected timelines. Encourage a realistic view of the manifestation journey, understanding that the universe operates on its own. Divine timing, the law of assumption, is not about instant gratification. It's about trust and unwavering belief. Ultimately, this law and its principles have the power to change your life. If you so choose, start right now by reflecting and truly seeing your life in its totality. What is it that you desire and how can you assume that reality to facilitate it actually happening? We hope you have some answers after watching this video. If you enjoyed watching and would love to learn more about this, then make sure to like the video, share it, and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.